Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen and Money here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a really great day. In this video, I just wanted to give you guys an update of my crypto mining garage. And you know, it's the holidays now, so I have a lot of time to be able to work on it and uh, get it all set up the way that I would like. And throughout this video, I, I'm gonna set up a new shelf and all that stuff. I'm gonna do that really quick. And uh, I'm gonna rearrange a few things in my garage here so that I could have it basically, you know, the way I want. And I need a shelf because I need to have my rigs basically to have more density and not just to have them on tables and such. But uh, let me explain, you know, throughout this video, I have a lot of things going on right now, especially with uh, power and stuff, okay? So you guys may have saw, I just added, I have here the Space Goats 30 amp, 240 volt. So this one here is basically, <laughs> I wanna have more power capacity instead of just using, you know, good old 120 volt plugs. You guys know that, you know, with these plugs, they only go up to about 15 amps or about 1500 watts safely, like the 80% rule. So right now, I actually have a few rigs off. Here's one of my RTX 3080s, and yeah, it's been off. I have two 1063 gigabyte card rigs that are off, but I do have a 574 gig, a couple of hodgepodge of 5700s and 5600 and 580s together in one rig, but it's simply running off a single 120 volt plug. And yeah, like that only goes up to realistically 1500 watts. And uh, I had the other rigs on that other like vacuum plug there. That's another separate 15 amp plug that goes to its own breaker, its own circuit basically. So I was able to only go up to 1500 watts there. But now I am able to have a 240 volt 30 amp breaker here, which we can go up to theoretically if we were accounting the 80% rule about uh, 5,760 watts, I believe. That's the 80% rule off of a 30 amp breaker, okay? But you can see here my buddy hasn't put in the uh, breaker yet because uh, actually in our local Home Depot, they didn't have any of the QO230CP. It's the 240 volt 30 amp breaker and they didn't have any uh, in stock. So yeah, you can see here, it's just hanging right here for now and uh, it's eventually gonna be installed at the top, I believe. And you can see <laughs> probably some electricity are probably laughing right now this is just like a temporary solution as you know I wanted to be able to take it out easily in case you know I don't want it here anymore and we were thinking we were hoping to put it on its side here or through within the walls but there's actually a huge stud uh, right here so yeah, we couldn't really just drill through and put this wire through. We have to like basically take out the whole wall and do a whole bunch of stuff and we don't want to do that. And this is just a temporary fix for me anyway. But yeah, I can't wait for the comments down below. But anyways guys, I'm excited for this 30 amp breaker and the digital meter with a custom 3D printed faceplate here. He has Red Panda and Space Goats on the side here. That's pretty awesome. And uh, you guys can see his lovely, lovely sticker he just gave to me recently. So I'm excited to put that in. And then I have a 30 amp PD you from good old nerdgears.com guys go check them out nerdgears.com I believe they do have the PDUs in stock so yeah I'm hoping that this will be pretty good it should be and uh, I do need to order some C13 to C14 power cables in order to you know have all my rigs on that PDU so I'm hoping that I can fill up about you know 5,000 to 5,700 watts on this PDU and that should theoretically be good. And so I can't wait to see all the exact, you know, power consumption wattage that I'm gonna be using on uh, this 30 amp breaker. So I'm really excited to get that installed. I was thinking of adding like another 30 amp breaker, but you know, this is where I live and I don't wanna overload anything here. So just 130A is, is good enough, is good enough. All right, but anyways guys, you know my power situation now. I want to now rearrange my area here. So I wanna put a table here. So I'm thinking this table is gonna go right there. And then my new shelf that I just got from Costco, you guys can see here, it's gonna go, I'm hoping, right in the middle. And so I'm hoping to like have the, uh, the PDU just basically going onto the table and then just hopefully sitting on where the shelf is. And then I'm gonna have this table right here moved as far as I can over there. Uh, so hopefully I can have a table, shelf, and then table and then basically all mining rigs, hopefully. And uh, yeah, and if I run out of power on that 30 amp breaker, which, you know, I should be fine, then I still am able to use that 15 amp circuit right there and also potentially the other 15 amp circuit up on the wall over here. 
Okay, so yeah, I should be good for having lots of power in my garage here. And oh yeah, some of you guys may be wondering about the temperature and it's about 72 Fahrenheit in here right now. So it's not too bad. That little window there, it's doing really good. I covered it all black and it's just black mesh. So a lot of air is coming in now. So it's doing really good. Okay, anyways guys, let me uh, quickly build the shelf. Let's rearrange my garage here, okay? So uh, you guys will see the shelf built in three, two, one. Okay, there we go. You guys can see my shelf is all built and I did kind of screw up, but you know what? I'm okay with it. It's, you know, I didn't, I wasn't able to put on the top layer because I was hoping I could uh, fit another layer of rigs, but I realized that uh, the spacing that I did between the shelves was a little bit too much, uh, you guys can see here. But you know what, I'm okay with it. It actually looks good, then I can see more of the GPUs and uh, have more room to work with if I need to take out a GPU or something. So I'm happy about this. For now, it's good. And of course, the shelf is on wheels too, so I am able to move it just in case, you know, I need to figure out like some temperature stuff in here because you guys know right now uh, the temperature is about 73 Fahrenheit but once I get more rigs you know turned on in here and of course it's winter time right now and when it becomes summertime or something or spring I wonder what the temperature will be in here it'll obviously be a lot hotter so if you guys are still with me next year <laughs> we'll have probably have to figure out some sort of uh, heat extraction solution in this crypto mining garage by then okay so anyways all right so i'm going to move that shelf out and uh, move that table this table here on the end of the wall over there and uh, oh, you guys can probably see some gpus here uh, these two are not working i'm not sure why i can only get like three or four mega hash on this one and like another 10 or 11 mega hash on the sapphire nitro really confused i'll, I'll have another video about that but okay so be right back, three, two, one. Oh man, this looks way better. Let me know what you guys think. I have essentially a table there and another table there. And then I have the shelf in the middle. And uh, you guys notice I have my rigs off. So I, I'm sacrificing myself for you guys. You guys get the extra profits. Actually, all the rigs that you see here are probably gonna be off for a while until my buddy can get me a 30 amp breaker. And uh, yeah, we're gonna clean this up of course, get some like C clamps or something to put it along here. And uh, yeah, it looks good. Guys, let me know what you think. All of my rigs are gonna be essentially on this side of my garage. And uh, yeah, actually I wanted to try and uh, plug in the PDU just to see what it looks like here. So uh, let's see, it goes like this, I believe. Yeah, there we go, and it locks too. Okay, so look at that, you guys can see. And man, I, I just can't wait to see the uh, the wattage, like the power consumption coming out of the uh, the digital meter there. Okay, so here is the cable, here's the PDU, just to see, you know, what it's gonna look like, basically. I was hoping that this cable would be long enough to go onto my uh, shelf here, but it looks like uh, if I did that, then the cable would be hanging a bit. I don't wanna like have it going across. Actually, let's just see what it looks like here. Uh, yeah, it's gonna like pull it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna pull this 30 amp cable here. So I'm just gonna keep it like, probably just like that on the table. And uh, yeah, and I actually found some C13 to C14 cables. Uh, you guys can see here, I have some short ones. So I'm probably gonna have a, maybe one or two rigs on the table here. And then uh, I'll have a few more rigs here. And then I have a bit longer C13 to C14 cables which hopefully will go to there. So hopefully I can uh, populate about 5,760 watts on this 240 volt 30 amp breaker. You guys know 30 amp, uh, basically 30 times 240. And that gives you the max, the wattage at the wall, but that you wanna do the 80% rule. So we're doing uh, minus another 20% uh, from that 30 amps. So we're essentially gonna go up to 24 amps so 24 times 240, that's how I got the uh, 5,760 watts uh, at the wall, basically. Okay, anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Just a quick update, I don't have the breaker yet, so that'll be another video coming real soon, hopefully. I, I hate having all my rigs down. You guys can see it's it's like very quiet. I don't even have to yell or anything. It's just, this is not like my other location, the crypto mining basement, but 
This is just as exciting. Oh, and I do have a, like a shop fan coming. I believe it's a X power fan. I'm gonna have it like essentially maybe right over there and it's just gonna blow air all the way in that direction and hopefully extract out. And then cold air is gonna be coming in from the left side here. My garage is all messy again. I just, I moved everything over to the left side here. Um, I'll figure that out later. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. Please let me know your thoughts and uh, let me know if I should change anything different. And uh, yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave your comments down below. See you guys later. Have a good one and peace out.